All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first battle tonight, the first of the quarterfinals, is taking place between my man DJ Manchu, my man DJ Rafik. I will now get on with the introductions. This here is the magic, this is the watch, this is where the 90 seconds get decided. Can I get some noise, B-Boys? Can I get some words, B-Girls? Would you please welcome, from New Zealand, two years, ITF champion, it's the DJ Manchu! Three, two, one! Shit is boiling down and it's not nice, it's not pretty. Judges, are we good? Couple of seconds, this is serious. Now we're gonna read out the categories just to let you know. These five men are dealing with five categories. Can I please get some noise for each of these categories? Musicality? Yeah. Skills? Yeah. Originality? Yeah. Patterns? Yeah. Accuracy? Okay, lads have spent time, lads have spent years, lads have spent days. This is deadly. We ready for round two? Judges? All good. Okay, give it up, please. Round two. It's the Man Man Chew. Three, two, two one. one. And I ain't got time to waste. Let's make it. You say you a DJ, but you never pop none. You say you a wankster, and you need to stop frontin'. You ain't no friend of mine. Yeah. You ain't no kin of mine. No. What makes you think that I won't run up on you with the
Mr. Manchu! Noise, please! Noise, please! Noise, please! Okay, gracious, gracious, good people of Germany, good people of Austria as you were. This man is competitor in your own homeland. Where is your own homeland? Joyce to the team, Deutschland. Ready to go? Yep, yep. Could you give some noise to the DJ Rafik? Final round, Deutschland. Three, two, one! See? You play around too fucking much. How many people you got hurt? You ain't learned your lesson yet. You ain't learned your fucking You're lesson. You're still playing the fucking around. He's a little bitch. Tag, you know, it's funny tag. Can I get some noise, please? Come on! Reaction, action! Reaction, action! Energy, synergy, him, him, you, you, we! Would you please welcome from the USA, from the 414 crew, Mr. B321! Roll over, roll over. Dish, 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 dish. Would you? Now, listen to the pleasure of mine to welcome from France, supremacy champion, team champion, yep, yep, rolling down European ITF champion, of course, champion of France, from the coup de cross crew, it's the DJ Fell. Three, two, one. Er. It goes to one, two, three, and.
made it sound and look easy. From the USA, round up on it, second, punch is coming back, not on the ropes, it's the mister, B, three, three two, two, one, go! Here I come again with the pump, here I come, here I come, here I come again with the pump, here I come again with the pump, here I come again with the pump, you tell me what you need, I break you off what you want, I'm back on that ass with a blast from the base, made for... Sounds in. USA motherfuckers, make some noise. Make some noise. USA motherfuckers, make some noise, please. For your man. For your man. For your man. Right, sounds out. Twisting over. Could you please welcome Punch Bag? It's the DJ Fell from France. Three, two, one. And now. And now. And now. And now. And now. And now, this is what we call the real funky beat.
Rushed up stars, here comes the mechanism. Yep, yep, as we twist, would you please now? The second off for the punches. Of course, IDF champ of the UK 03. Also, the all style beatdown champion of the world. DMC supremacy champion of the planet. It is from the UK, DJ Tiger Styles. Three, two, one.
lose. You will 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 lose. Okay, lads, take a bow. What a battle, man. Take a bow. Tiger style. Wave a hand. One, two, Koi. Wave a fucking hand, two, Koi. Wave a hand. What a battle. What a battle. Tiger style. Wave a hand. What a battle. What a battle. Wave a hand. That's it. That's it. Would you please welcome in the final quarter final of the evening, 6th of December 2103 from Spain, of course, the ITF champion, but two years consecutive, finished fifth last year in the world finals from the dangerous combination crew, Tenerife, it's the DJ J Key! Three, two, one, hello! of the stuff this is the Latin battle would you please welcome for his third time in the ITF championships of the world all the way from Italy is the DJ Micro Mess three two one ladies and gentlemen are you ready You know who you're fucking with. Last loving it. Get the pump up, get the room up. You're getting your last round in the quarterfinal. You're about to enter your last round in the quarterfinal. How are you all liking it? Are you liking it? It does do something to you, doesn't it? All right, 
Sounds out. Make some noise, please, from the Tenerife Dangerous Combination crew. It is the DJ J Key. Three, two, one. <laughs> Bitch, stop stuttering and speak the fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. The fuck up. <laughs>
let's start. For the first of the semi-finals, from Dangerous Combination, Tenerife out of Spain, it is the DJ, J, Key, three, two, one. Let's take hip hop back to the road, follow me. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. DJ Jay Key! Say that we're without further ado. Right down. Over from Spain, whipped up. It's out of Sansa, Alemania, Sansa, Deutschland! 
God, would you please welcome for the Lords of Fitness crew, Lords of Fitness crew, it is the DJ Rafa. Three, two, one. <laughs> Cocksucker's name.
Yep. All right, as we were saying, runch down. This is key stuff from the UK. ITS champ, of course. All-style world beatdown champion. TM Supremacy champion of the world. It is your UK DJ Tiger style. Three, two, one. Clinical. How's he sounding? <laughs> Giving me the nod. Yes, yes. From the coup de cross crew, France. Unbelievable skills. It is the DJ Fell. Three, two, one. Get, 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 get down. Come do it. Ready, noise now! On the ropes, this is from the UK! Noise for Tiger Style! DJ Tiger Style! Three, two, one!
and you got nothing better to do. I'm DJ Tiger Stein! Nice! Front to the middle, middle to the back! Nice! Straight up, the battle is on, the battle is on! Nice. All right, be ready with the fail. This is important. This man needs some edge. He needs some edge. He's had his broken distraction. I want to hear noise. Noise for the fail. Noise. 90 seconds to go in the semi-finals. Noise. Would you please welcome a man with too much stuff under his belt. All the way from France. Coup de Cross crew. It is the DJ. Fail. Three, two, one. Get, get, get ready, motherfuckers. The champ is rising.
it's gonna be something like no other, man. It's gonna be big, man. I mean, it is a reality. It's gonna make it hot. Er hat mal gerade gesagt, es ist sein erstes Mal in Europa und deshalb braucht er alle Energie von euch, die ganze Energie von euch, die JT Three minutes, three minutes, three minutes starting from now. Feel the celebration of a scratch sensation. He is stimulus, he's the inspiration. Be ain't a other scratch, be ain't a other scratch. That would, would, that would, that would you never heard. So cut, 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 so superb. Yeah. 
DJ Gauchon! Yeah, ja, drei Minuten! Okay. Okay, are you ready? That's it. Okay. DJ Flip for another. Three, two, one. Good man. 
Jigga man, huh? It goes. Drei Minuten. Kid Fresh. Three, two, one. Listen up. Virus. Listen up. Virus. Virus. All right, you chicken shit motherfucker. I'm doing you a favor. I mean, you're a faggot. I mean, you're a faggot. I mean you're a faggot. I mean you're a faggot. I mean you're a faggot.
Sweet Fresh! Viva Switch, macht mal für die DJs, go show! Die Tschatsche schreiben, die Tschatsche schreiben. Okay, Platz machen, er will ihn sehen, er will ihn sehen. Alright, DJ Virus! Are you ready? DJ Virus! 3, 2, 1! Shut him down, open up shop! Talk is cheap, motherfucker! It don't stop. What? Say what? Uh -huh. It don't stop. Say cool. what? Okay, seid ihr bereit für den letzten Durchgang, Beach Chucker Finale? Yeah. DJ Kid Fresh, 3, 2, 1. The King is here and that's a fact. Kid Fresh is back.
Sechs Minuten Zeit, sechs Minuten hat jedes Team Zeit, ja? Tricks zu zeigen. Sechs Minuten, zuerst die Form Anfang, dann die Lords of Fitness und zum Schluss die Titelverteidiger Nocturnal Sound Crew. Okay. Are you guys ready? These guys are ready. Die sind bereit. Seid ihr bereit, München? Seid ihr bereit? Die ersten. Sechs Minuten für Four One Funk. Three, two, one, go! The same crap you've seen over and over and over again. <laughs> to me, they're all pretenders, frightened like they're hot as they try to defend their title. Title, title, title. Fuck those nocturnals, motherfuckers! With a ten foot pole, they can't touch it. Touch yeah, it. that's what I'm you know? saying. So we come to find out oh. the real deal right about now. Now this was our first routine we ever made. Word. This is our first routine we ever made. And we gonna try it right about now. First routine we ever made. If y'all can get oh. into it, or if y'all heard it before, we want y'all to get down. Get a little soul clap with us or something. Anybody here who can make a funky beat? Yeah, something outstanding. Incredible. Ooh, hit it, homie.
I changed my style. <laughs> Ihr seid so weit. Seid ihr so weit, München? Für die Lords of Fitness. Die Lords of Fitness. Sechs Minuten. Three, two, one. <lacht> But what's this though, everybody? Yo, we having a party. A Lord's party. A party for the Lord. To every DJ in America. To every DJ in America. You don't deserve it. Rest in peace, this one's for you. Rest in peace, this one's for you. Rest in peace, this one's for you. But never mind. Go and buy some ice cream. zurückziehen und mit dem Kopf schütteln. <lacht> Wo man hinsieht, meine Damen und Herren, das Leben ist ein Krampf. Jeder gegen jeden, weiß gegen rot, Ost gegen West, mit dem charmanten Untertitel Alles Scheiße. <lacht> Oh, <laughs> 
Die haben eine Möglichkeit zum dritten Mal zu gewinnen, okay? Die letzten sechs Minuten. Okay. Die Nocturnal Sound Crew! Three, two, one, go! Check this out. Y'all wanna know why Nocturnal is so motherfucking crunk, man? Cause we ain't never scared. We ain't scared of none of y'all motherfuckers, man. You bring it, we gon' bring it. The more you bring it, the more we gon' bring it. Cause we ain't never scared. Yeah. We gon' go through a couple of things tonight. We gon' go, we gon' party, of course. We gon' take it all the way back for y'all. Then we gon' keep it in the truest essence of hip hop, the battle. We gotta keep it in the battle, right y'all? Y'all ready for that? Nocturnal. Who want the fuck with us? Nocturnal. Who want the fuck with us? How nocturnal? Tell me who want the fuck with us? Some more dangerous. I don't give a fuck about kid. I don't give a fuck about kid. You ain't fresh. You ain't fresh. I don't give a fuck about you or your weak crew. What you gonna do? What do? What do? This how we do it on our side. Any you niggas from? That wanna bring it, bring it. But we ain't singing, we bring it drama. Fuck you and your motherfucking mama. We gon' kill all you motherfuckers. Fuck. 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 Fuck
Let's move on. Try and get this done. We gotta do one thing now, and that's have a sound check on these turntables here. I know you don't mind, it just has to be perfect. It has to roll through nicely. Shit. Two minutes. That's all each man has. Here we go. Tiger Style UK! I want noise! I want noise! 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 Three, two, one! You're just full of bullshit. I'll make you eat your words.
ripped over. Sounds of the one and only. It's the Lords of Fitness. Okay. I don't need to introduce the man no more. Just make some noise! Three, three, two, one! Advancement class 2003. About half a more hour to the boats. Rafik, Tiger Style. Who knows? Who knows? München, seid ihr bereit für das letzte Showcase? Yo, DJ Toaster, DJ D Styles, give it up, München!
DJ World Champion in der Kategorie Scratchy. DJ Flynn! DJ Flynn aus Irland! Champion 2003! Dann macht mal Lärm für DJ Kid Fresh und DJ Virus. Step right to the front. Step to the front. Step to the front. Step to the front. Überreicht wird der Preis vom Federheads DJ, DJ Hype. 2003 ITF DJ Champion of the World. In der Kategorie Beat Chuggle. Lots of fitness, DJ Kid Friend! Kid Friends! Lots of fitness! Lots of fitness, DJ Kid Friends! DJ Champion of the World, Beat Chuggle. Macht noch mal Lärm für DJ Kid Fresh! Alright guys, are you ready? Is München bereit? Für den World Champ in der Kategorie Team. Der Gewinner 2003, der ITF DJ World Champion in der Kategorie Team. Aus Deutschland, Lords of Fitness! Lots of Fitness, ITF DJ Champ, Kategorie Team. It's gonna go straight ahead and announce it. 2003 ITF DJ World Champion, Advancement Class. Take a breath, please, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Tiger Style. Step up. See the face of it. Multiple winner. Drop the belts. Can we get Rafik up in there? Rafik, step on stage, Rafik. Come on, Rafik. Can I please get some noise for the Lords of Fitness? DJ Rafik! Deadly show tonight. Deadly show. Take a bow, brother. All right, take it. Yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to everyone who like, was filling us up. And a uh, big shout out to Lords of Fitness who won the teams and stuff. Uh, big shout out to Fel, uh, all the French crew, Vinyl Richie, uh, everybody who competed up here tonight because this is really hard. And like, it's like, thank you, thank you guys, man. And big shout out to everybody. And uh, Breaks Are Us, all those guys. And uh, look out for next year, because uh, they'll probably be back sometime, so... Thanks a lot.
Quickly introduce yourselves, tell us where are you from? Uh, I'm DJ Woody, uh, from uh, near Manchester in the UK, basically. Right. I'm Tyke Stahl, from uh, Ashford in Middlesex, just outside London. Uh-huh. What brings you here? Why are you here? You start this time. Um, I scraped my way through the uh, Advancement UK finals, um, so I'm just here to represent UK in the world. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, showcasing and judging uh, today and tomorrow. What is the fascination? Can you um, maybe explain to, to imagine someone who hasn't seen anything anything like this before or doesn't, doesn't have a sort of... It's a lot of things actually. It's kind of hard to explain to people who haven't, who are not really exposed to it. It's like you're trying to, you try to explain to someone what you do and you end up saying the same old thing and it's a long story and it's just like, <laughs> Basically, using the turntable as a as an instrument, you're not just playing records, but you're manipulating the sound of the record with your hands uh, manually just to create a new sound of your own. It's just a really in- interesting sort of instrument, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, don't know, I was sort of I, I was always sort of into music as a kid and stuff, but there was never a, sort of an instrument that sort of struck me as I don't know, like um, just used to play around on my parents' hi-fi, you know, with the Public Enemy seven inch or whatever, yeah, you know. And I don't know, I just sort of I don't know. There was no other instrument that uh, fascinated me as much, you know. You can play any instrument on it, you know. Like uh, it doesn't matter if it's a horn or a, you know drums or a flute or you know you you're mastering one instrument to flip, you know. Techniques wise, you know, there isn't like a Bible of, well, there is on some websites these days, but you know, a Bible of this technique, that technique. There's not like a, a broken down sort of um, way of doing it, you know what I mean? It's all there to be discovered and there to be advanced, you yeah. know what I mean? There's no rules or anything. It's like everyone, everyone makes their own style. And, um, you know, there's, there's no one who can say that you, you can't do that and you can't do this. I mean, uh, it originated from hip hop, everyone knows that. But um, it's got so diverse now. It's uh, the, um, the music involved in terms of, like, like what he said, really, you can use any instrument. And that goes for music as well. You can use any music you want, really. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's also the appeal it has to, so to say, 15, 14, 15, 16 year old kids, you know, that are used to maybe, mm. that grew up playing PlayStation and Game Boy and shit? You yeah, know? yeah. Because um, there you almost have a limited number of choices which you can take, you know. Yeah, yeah. There might be thousands, but still it's like a. I mean, I, I do bits of workshops with kids and stuff like uh, where I live and stuff, like teaching them about DJing skills and stuff like that. And it's always like it's an instant street cred thing if you can get on a pair of decks and rip it up. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> they just they just love it and think, oh yeah, that's that's really cool, whatever. But uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. There's the whole thing of the superstar DJ or whatever. And if if you can show them something that you know, Carl Cox can't do or whatever. You know what I mean? They're they're, they're impressed. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's my aim. <laughs> yeah. How have you experienced the whole? Um, I don't know how, how to say it. Like the the, the way sort of this whole um, scene has been um, targeted by big companies that you know throwing um, products up on end on, onto the market. And what has it done to that scene? Does it does it advance the music in any way? That that kind of you know having a choice of fifteen mixes and it does and show yeah because it's more varied that way you get more of a choice and people it appeals it appeals to different tastes uh, you know because you know some people like to scratch some people like to juggle some people like to do this and that you know you can go off in your own direction it's not all just for one thing so you know. Um, I think it's good, you know, you can't, you can't just be a hardcore traditionalist and say the only equipment you must use for turntablism is Technics 1210 and crappy beating up whatever mixer, you know what I mean? Like, scratch DJs want crossfaders that come straight in, they want smooth as hell crossfaders, they want good, you know, and at last, you know, companies are actually listening to them and developing products that, that we want, you know, I mean, like, you know, there's like the Vestax turntables, whatever, you know, as a turntable, I mean, not trying to be all, you know, Vestax guy or anything, but, you know, like, just the pitch control and stuff, it it, it makes it more, it, it brings the art form closer to actual, uh, it being a musical instrument, you know, because you've got, you've got the accuracy, you know, on the pitch and on, on the start and stops, you, 
you know, it's it's you know, you can do what you want with it's it varied, rather than it? sort of staying within the boundaries of a technical sort of um, you know what capabilities the equipment's got. You know, how much time do you spend on practicing these days? I know you must have spent hours on end and you know bedrooms or whatever but now, now these days now that you've advanced to a certain level how, how much practice is it these days for you it kind of varies now because i used to first when i was really sort of really really hungry for battles and stuff um i used to do about eight nine hours a day um just just straight just, <coughs> not straight but um up tiny breaks <coughs> in between but just like scratching and beat juggling just Constantly, constantly coming up with like new stuff and just practicing it over and over again, so that when um, she's when hardcore you, though. <laughs> so when you go over stuff, like um, it's uh, it's better that way because then you can um, you can like scrap all the all the rubbish bits that you think uh, yeah, that you think is shit, and then uh, you can just like keep like going over what um, what you think is good, and then but um, yeah, that that was that. But now nowadays it's um, it's not that much different. It's it's about six six hours a day now. But uh, that's just so, like, it's just, I really practice a lot of scratching now. If you get to these kind of points really quickly, you know, where you're practicing and you forget everything around you, then that kind of... Thing. Yeah, yeah, you go totally into a zone, man. Sometimes I just like, I scratch for ages and I don't realise how long I've been scratching until my arm's nearly fallen off. <laughs> and it's just like, I was just like, um, as soon as I stop, I'm like, oh, fuck. It's like, <laughs> really hurts. But, um, I, I, I can scratch for ages, but... Um, but when I'm practicing, it's like a, it's like a full-time job because I've actually quit my job to practice for all these um, all these battles and stuff. Mm -hmm. And because that takes up so much time, um, the amount of time I scratch and practice, I could have done a whole day's work. But does your girlfriend say to you, to your nine-hour stint or eight-hour stint? Or oh man, we've we've had plenty of arguments about that. <laughs> the usual saying we do is just say you love your decks more than more than you love that me. That sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and you question it, but uh, I had no. my decks before I had you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's just like it's uh, right now. This is like this is really important because this is what I want to do. This is like a I want. It's like I want for a, a career. Yeah. You know, so I've, I'm gonna have to do whatever it takes. Like if if it means like putting in the hours every day, then. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do that, but yeah, you know, sometimes she doesn't like it, but you know, she's cool with it. She's cool. I mean, I'm sure she can't wait for all the battles to be over, and neither can I really, because it takes so much out of you, mm -hmm. and you need to get back to like a normal everyday routine again. Mm -hmm. See how you do tomorrow. Man. Keep my fingers crossed for you. Oh man, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for me too, because I'm gonna leave every single bit of luck I can get. I'm nervous, man. Nervous. This is the one that I'm really. I've, I've never actually been this nervous, even though I've, I've been battling all this year and I've been up on stage quite a, quite a bit, and I've been pretty successful so far. But because this is the last one, um, I've, I've been. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself, but I don't actually mind. I don't. I wouldn't mind if I lose at all, really. Yeah, that's a good a, year, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm quite happy with what I've done. It's just that um, I don't know what it is. Well, no, I'll figure it out sometime, but it's just like... Well, it's because you've won everything else so far, and there's that pressure built up, because everyone's yeah. like, is Tiger Star going to take this one? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's like... I don't know, I'm, I'm personally not that bothered if I win or lose, but um, I'm going to try and like it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, I'm Refik from the Lords of Fitness. I'm 21 years old. DJ seit 1995, habe angefangen mit Scratching und Turntablism ca. 2000, sag ich mal. Ähm, davor eigentlich nur Mixing, House, Techno und ein bisschen Hip-Hop gemacht. Was fasziniert dich an diesem Arbeiten mit, mit, äh, mit den Plattenspielern? Also was mich halt in erster Linie daran wirklich fasziniert, ist, äh, dass äh, der Typ, der den Plattenspieler erfunden hat, oder das Grammophon oder was auch immer jetzt zuerst da war, keine Ahnung, der hat halt was geschaffen, sag ich mal, wo er im ersten Moment gar nicht wusste, was er da jetzt eigentlich genau rausgehauen hat. Und ähm, das Besondere für mich besteht darin, dass äh, einfach die Bedienung von einem Plattenspieler ähm, einfach so eine perfekte Art, äh, ja, es lässt so viele Möglichkeiten offen, in die Musik einzugreifen. Und dadurch, dass einfach zwei Plattenspieler über ein Mischpult verbunden sind, 
durch Hin- und her zu äh, schalten, Stücke umzuarrangieren und vorgegebene Sounds in eine ganz neue Richtung zu machen, was halt in meinen Augen so viel ist, wie zum Beispiel ein Hip-Hop-Produzent heutzutage macht, ist genau das Gleiche, nur einfach live an, an einem Stück. Man übt sich eine Routine ein, ist als, für mich ist das als wie äh, ein Produzent, der äh, live etwas vorproduziert, sozusagen vor Menschen, so, das wäre ungefähr vergleichbar. Nur, dass halt natürlich der Plattenspieler dafür speziell viel mehr Möglichkeiten offen lässt. Moment wahnsinnig schnell weiterentwickelt. Wie wirst du das einschätzen? Man hat sich in den letzten drei, vier Jahren ganz viel getan oder, oder was, wenn ja? Also ähm, ich, ich kann nicht wirklich sagen, ob sich in den letzten Jahren viel getan hat, weil ich nicht weiß, wie es davor war, weil ich nur mal erst die letzten paar Jahre dabei bin. Aber ähm, das, was die letzten paar Jahre passiert ist, finde ich sehr, sehr unglaublich. Also es gibt Leute, die es so extrem in die musikalische Richtung bringen, so wie zum Beispiel äh, D-Styles oder Toad-Style, die auch beide heute hier sind. Ähm, naja, gibt's, oder Kid Koala zum Beispiel, der das Ganze halt echt, das ist halt ein absoluter Jazzmusiker in meinen Augen. Naja, das, also das finde ich schon sehr, sehr faszinierend, so zu sehen, dass Harmonien zustande kommen auf dem Plattenspieler, der zum Beispiel jetzt jahrelang als... Äh, Percussion-Instrument sozusagen verdammt worden ist und jetzt sieht man, dass halt doch Sachen passieren, wie zum Beispiel ähm, mehrere Töne übereinander, also ich weiß ich, Akkorde und so weiter. Oder äh, naja, so, so, so Sachen lassen sich einfach lösen, indem man mehrere Leute zusammenbringt, jeder übernimmt ein Instrument und dann hat man halt eine Turntable-Band. Wie kommt das dann bei den Leuten draußen an, die, die sich sowas angucken? Also, kapieren die überhaupt, was passiert? Oder? Ähm, Kommt drauf an, also Leute, die sich damit beschäftigen, das ist, es werden immer mehr Leute, die sich damit beschäftigen und die äh, nehmen das Ganze natürlich besser auf als jemand, der sich gar nicht dafür interessiert, das ist ja klar. Aber ähm, die Leute, die sich nicht dafür interessieren, machen halt auch immer wieder mal Lärm und geben halt Feedback. Allerdings bei Sachen, die auch ein bisschen eingängiger sind, sag ich mal. So, ähm, zum Beispiel Schnelligkeit ist halt was, worauf so, der, so jemand, der sich nicht damit beschäftigt, der, der, ähm, der merkt das schnell, wenn, wenn jetzt jemand ganz schnell Backspins macht, links, rechts, mal ganz schnelle Bewegung, dann fangen die Leute an zu schreien, die jetzt nicht so viel Ahnung davon haben oder so. Das finde ich aber auch völlig okay so. Deine Erwartungen für heute Abend bzw. morgen? <lacht> ja, ähm, ich habe eigentlich ganz gute Erwartungen. Es ähm, ist jetzt allerdings doof, sich halt da irgendwo drauf jetzt festzunageln, weil ich weiß überhaupt nicht, was passiert. Ähm, ich hoffe natürlich, dass ich weit kommen werde, ich werde das Beste dafür geben, aber es äh, kann ja alles passieren. Für die, äh, fürs Team Battle bin ich halt sehr zuversichtlich und habe halt viele Hoffnungen, weil wir auch sehr, sehr viel Arbeit da reingesteckt haben. Und äh, ja, ansonsten hoffe ich, dass äh, mein Teamkollege Kid Fresh den Beach Juggle Titel nach Deutschland holt. <lacht>